Well, this is the digging bucket I made this year. It's got a flashlight, pinpointer, digging tool, towel, bottle of water, and a pouch. And in the pouch, I carry a first aid pack, a good finds pack, spare batteries. I got the spare batteries in a Ziploc bag so they don't short out on anything. And these are acid brushes. You can get a pack of three at Home Depot for a dollar twenty-five, I think. I cut the bristles a little shorter so that they're a little firmer. And then I stick toothpicks inside. It'll hold four or five toothpicks, and then I put a piece of tape over it so I can carry toothpicks and a brush. And that's for when I'm hiking out in the woods more. So I can just uh, have a bunch of extra stuff with me. And a big container for throwing trash I dig in. This is a ground a piece of plastic I use for a ground cloth. Okay, I'm gonna see how that works this year. Well, I'm out here at the park. I'm still got a little frost in the ground, but my first dig out here at the park is a jack. I'm hunting an area that I've hunted before but I'm hunting it in all metal mode today to see what I can find when I take away all the discrimination and just hunt out everything. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Well, there's my first wheat penny of the year. It's a 1926. Haven't found any silver yet. Okay, I'll let you know if I find anything else. Well, I just found my first Indian of the year. It was with this nail, but it's too crusty to really make out any date or anything. I'll clean it up and see if I can show you later on. Okay, I'll let you know if I find anything else. Okay. Right here, under this grub, I got a coin. Looks pretty crusty. Let's see if I can clean it up a little and figure out what it is. Well. I think it's 1891. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Hey everybody. Starting 2016 out. I won a contest. I got a package from Hilux Yoda. If you get a chance, check out his YouTube channel. I won his contest and got some silver. I got six pieces of silver to start out 2016 and hadn't even dug a hole yet. This one right here is a real nice one. I'm still waiting to dig one of these. I've managed to find some of these. So hopefully finding one will be easier now that I have one. 
Special thanks out to Hilux Yoda for sending them out to me. Then, I want to give a thanks to Boston and Maine Digger. If you get a chance, check out his YouTube channel. I got a hold of him and he sent me some of his bottles that I'll probably never be able to find out here. These are just some of the favorites that I've got from him. This is a Grand Union Tea Company. This one's uh, E. Hertzborn, Hertzborn and Son, Boston, Massachusetts, established in 1850. This one's Dr. True's Elixir, established in 1851. Dr. J.F. True and Company, Inc., Auburn Emmy and this is a Burnett's standard extract flavored extract flavorings extract but those are some bottles I'll probably never dig out here in Wisconsin it was nice to get them from him Boston and Maine Digger Two young gentlemen that I think you should check out if you get a chance. Uh, Relic Digger and Detector Loop. They're both doing a good job to learn their way around in metal detecting and bottle digging. And then for my first finds of 2016. I got two quarters, three dimes, seven memorials, and four Zenkins. I found a toy jack. That was kind of neat. I got a no-date Weedy, a 1926 Weedy, a 1891 Indian. It cleaned up pretty good on this side. And this side's not bad either. It's got a nice patina. And then I got an 1897 Indian. The front looks pretty good. But the back's got a big crusty spot right here in the middle. Oh well, at least I got the date off it. Found this little tiny bottle, kind of neat. Part of a lantern, a uh, lamp, and I found an axe head. There's the junk I dug through. Okay, I hope everyone's getting out and enjoying themselves. Have a good 2016.